People in Somalia are cleaning up from a tropical cyclone. The storm ripped through on Sunday and Monday. More than 100 people were killed. Hundreds more are missing. Strong wind and heavy rain damaged coastal villages in the northeast. Flooded rivers swept away homes in central Somalia, forcing thousands of people to evacuate. The flooding and high tides inundated farmland and killed livestock. UN officials say 30,000 people are without food. Authorities in the Somali region say more than 50,000 people are in need of food, water and medical supplies. But the challenge is how to get the aid to the people. Six days after the cyclone happened, the few aid agencies in Puntland are still trying to reach the stranded villages. These community health workers and village health volunteers who are already trained, who are on standby in one of the accessible places, from there they are going to carry the kids and they are going to walk in the bush, walking they, go, they are going to reach all the villages, inaccessible villages, and they are going to treat the patients in those villages by, through walking. The damage done to the infrastructure is massive. This is what the floods that followed the cyclone did to the road linking Puntland's major cities. Long queues of stranded vehicles remain on both ends of the damaged road. After days of waiting for the raging floods to recede, people can now cross the damaged path on foot. No meaningful aid can get to those who need it most unless this road is repaired. And the government's efforts to do that remain hampered by lack of resources. This is the only earth-moving machine available, and it's stuck in the mud. Officials of the Puntland administration are calling for urgent help. We need help from the international community and Islamic countries. We need food airdrops and any other effective means of getting aid to the people stuck in flooded villages. Survivors have been telling tales of entire families wiped out by the storm. My neighbors, a family of seven, were all killed. We found six of the bodies, but their mother is still missing. We had no food or clean water. I had to flee here with my sick son. Thousands of livestock are also reported dead as a consequence of icy rain. But for now, it's the storm's toll on people that is an immediate concern here.